All right, well, welcome folks to another round of Humans of Data Hub. Today, we are joined by Harvey Lee from Grab. Harvey, please uh, introduce yourself. Tell us where you work, what you do with your team. And uh, yeah, just a little bit about who you are. All right, thanks, Maggie. And by the way, I love this Data Hub community. It's so vibrant, welcoming, and lively. My name is Harvey, and I work in Grab. Grab is Southeast Asia's leading super app. And we use data and technology to improve everything from transportation to payments and logistics across a region of over 620 million people. We offer services like ride hailing, food delivery, e-payment, last mile logistics, and more. As for myself, I work in the data engineering team that builds data applications, query platforms, governance toolings, to serve the entire data lake ecosystem at Grab. And more specifically, I'm now leading a metadata management, uh, a dev team to develop the next gen metadata management platform by leveraging Data Hub. And so far, it's been a very exciting journey. That's awesome. I'm curious, so how, um, how did you and your team uh, even discover Data Hub? Like what, what led you to the community? So you know that metadata management is a problem that any organization, any data-driven organization needs to tackle at some point in time. And fortunately for us, we actually start pretty early. We introduced a third-party proprietary data catalogs over three years ago to simply to reap the benefits of data discovery. And that is to break data silos and make data easily discoverable by anyone that needs data. However, with the incredible growth of our data scale, more and more use cases surface. And we saw increasing needs to have a metadata management platform that not only provide off the shelf features, but more importantly, offer us the building blocks to fine tune and to tailor for our own use cases. And because of that, last year, we actually explored a few open source data catalog solutions. And we found that Data Hub, with its extensible architecture, is best suited for our needs. And now we have far gone past the POC phase, and Data yes. Hub is actually now deployed in our production environment. Amazing. And we maintain a fork of uh, Data Hub. We call, it in, uh, we call it Hubble internally because we actually did quite some code changes to it. And some of these code changes have actually been contributed back to the community that the Presto on Hive plugin. Yes. Yeah, so it's been an exciting journey so far. And there are a lot of use cases that we want to unlock because we, with Data Hub, like data governance. Like now we are also moving toward Data Mesh. It's a, such awesome. a hot topic right now. Yeah, of course, and, yep. <laughs> and we see Data Hub as a secret weapon for us to move toward the Data Mesh architecture Grab. So since you and your team have adopted Data Hub, like what has Data Hub enabled within your organization? Right. So uh, for Data Hub, uh, firstly, it actually enabled us on the data discovery part. And we actually uh, used the Presto on Hive plugin, which is actually uh, the one that we contributed back to the community to ingest the metadata for over 80,000 tables into Data Hub. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we, I, I think, and, and the amazing part is that we actually managed to ingest this huge amount of metadata within less than 15 minutes. Of course, we put some have parallelism in place, but sure. the performance is That's outstanding. Amazing. That's outstanding. And the other use case, all I can say is a big three of use case is actually data governance. And we are now a, data, a, a public company and, and there are actually a lot more data governance use cases that we need to fulfill. Yeah. And we are also moving towards uh, data mesh. And one of the key principle is actually federated data governance. So we see data governance as, although data governance is not just a tooling problem, but it's actually an enabler for us to implement that in our organization. And for data governance, we actually take a tech first mindset. We, instead of introducing new processes or add more overheads to the data users, we want to develop tools and platforms that basically govern their access and make sure that they access the data in a very ungoverned manner. 
And for that, we actually we we actually use uh, the gross returns a lot to to, awesome. to for, for data classification and to define uh, uh, data access rule so, so that it enables some outbound integrations. And Data Hub has actually a lot of possibilities on how system can integrate with it, either through Open API, through GraphQL API, or recently the, the new addition of Actions Framework is amazing. Yes. And although we haven't tried, we haven't tried that yet, but we see a lot of exciting possibilities with this particular framework for us to monitor metadata change and to react to that in real time. Absolutely. Oh, that is so exciting. I am, and John, John from our team is going to be over the moon to hear that you <laughs> that you guys are are looking into the actions framework. There's just an endless amount of potential um, with that. We are just we're so excited to see what what the community ends up doing. Um, so thinking about, I know that kind of at the beginning you said that you know you love you love the Data Hub community. Obviously, we're biased. We love the Data Hub community as well. But I'm curious, like you know, what about it? What about that community? keeps you coming back like what why do you keep showing up in, in the data hub community this community is um very helpful like for me when i started to use data hub to be frank my first impression of data hub is it was so complex yeah like there are many sure. new concepts like aspects yeah. scp ma mc just to name a few sure and sometimes when i was stuck i know that there's there's the community behind my back that is able to offer some advice and for that, I want to give a quick shout out to Gabe, to John, and to, to in helping us and to get help us to, to get to or help my organization as well to, to get data hub in, in the current status. So yeah, so that is exciting. And maybe let me also share one story about how we get the idea of developing this um, Presto on Hive. So at that time, we saw this uh, performance issue to ingest mm. the metadata. For, for, for our data lake because they're simply, there's so, so many tables. So we actually raised that concerns in the data hub slab workspace. Mm -hmm. And we also share some of our proposal on how we could optimize it better. Then fortunately, one community member actually saw that threat. And he said, hey, we also encountered this similar performance issue in another open source catalog. And we did this and that to improve that. Oh. And we saw, it was a good, great idea. That's why we actually extended a new plugin to support uh, uh, to support this and, and make, make, make it more performant than the original one. That's amazing. So, yeah, so, so there are, I believe there are many stories like that that happening in this data hub workspace every day. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's that that made me feel, made, 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 made me love at this community so much. It's, it's very intellectually stimulating and there are data practitioners across the globe in this community. Mm -hmm. They are leveraging on their own experience and contributing their expertise to help each other and to stimulate meaningful discussion. This is truly amazing. Harvey, you just made my entire month. I'm, I'm so happy to hear all of this. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I know, seriously. For, actually, for joining this community for as well. Oh my gosh. And, and, it's such a joy. I because I, I likewise find like I'm I'm learning, I'm constantly learning and also just over like frankly overwhelmed by just like the volume of meaningful and really like intellectually stimulating conversations that happen within the community. There's part of me that wishes I could like clone myself so I could only pay attention to those and just like soak up all of the information. <laughs> it's so, so great. You know, awesome. the amazing part is that almost every thread is get, getting answered. Like if there's any question in the troubleshoot channel, it's answered. So well, that's really we, amazing. Yeah, Thanks we to really- well to make it, For making this happen. Yeah, that's something, you know, I think we, we try the, vo the volume of questions is growing. So we're, we're trying to keep up with it. But yeah, we really, um, we want to make sure that, you know, regardless of, of how, how big the community grows, that everyone has that same experience when they come in, right? The questions that they ask, they have a whole kind of like gang of, of support behind them so that 
they're not spinning their wheels for too long. Thinking about, you know, the Data Hub Slack community, like what is your favorite Slack channel? If you can, if you have one favorite Slack channel um, and, and, <laughs> and why? <laughs> Frankly speaking, in the past, my favorite uh, channel is actually Troubleshoot because it's been my savior every time when I was stuck. Yeah. And the people that are helpful, like usually when, when I go stuck, I ask the question there. And almost the next day, I, I got some advice in the thread. So it's, it's truly helpful. And I re I'm very grateful to that. And now I, as I getting more good at troubleshooting myself, I actually ask fewer questions there. And occasionally I also try to uh, see that channel and see if there's any question I can help answer as well. And now my favorite is actually announcement. Yeah. There are a lot of juicy and exciting updates in this particular channel. And because uh, I'm based in Singapore, uh, it, it, because of the time difference, I could not attend the town hall live. So mm. usually I just tune, in to, uh, tune into this channel and get the recording the next morning and watch it during my breakfast. Oh, Such wow. Cool, <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, the announcements channel is a lot of fun. Every time I post in there, I'm like genuinely excited to share information with people. <laughs> it's so fun. So thinking about, you know, kind of what Data Hub has already enabled within your organization and, you know, like with announcements, you're uh, getting up to speed with all of the new features that are coming out and, you know, like our roadmap announcements and stuff like that. I'm curious, you know, what, what are you excited to see within the Data Hub project? So the actual code or the, um, you know, the open source code itself, what are you excited to see over the next six months, 12 months? Right. I think the pace at which new features are rolled out in Data Hub is already really impressive. Yeah. And I couldn't really ask for more. And, but having said that, if I may think out loud, I would love to see more collaborative features incorporated uh, in Data Hub. As companies are now moving toward a data mesh world, data is no longer a byproduct. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's a product by itself. Sure. And similar to products in e-commerce websites, there are ratings and reviews with upvotes and downvotes. Totally. And with ratings and reviews can actually also become an additional dimension to data quality as well. Mm. With rating and reviews, it also establish a healthy feedback loop between the data producers and the data users. Mm. So in short, I think I would imagine Data Hub to be a one-stop marketplace for data. Everyone in the organization that needs data can go to Data Hub and search for it without relying on the tribal knowledge, asking around in Slack yeah. or, or check some documentation scattered somewhere. That was the old way. Yeah. But I think Data Hub enabled this new way of data discovery and it's very innovative. And I really hope to see more collaborative features that we can have just like we are shopping for data products. Yeah, I love that. We're actually um, in Q2, so right now, um, we are, we're starting some discovery around what does collaboration look like within Data Hub, right? Like, is it, is it as simple as like upvoting or giving it a rating or does it need, you know, what, what, is, what do those workflows need to look like? So I will very likely be reaching out to you more, Harvey, for more of wow. your... <laughs> <laughs> more of your feedback about what would look successful there. That's awesome. Thinking about Data Hub's current features um, and use cases, like what is your favorite feature or use case that you've come across so far? Okay, I'm going to say a lot of features because Great. all these features <laughs> are actually essential to get us to where we are today. Like data container, policy-based access control, lineage, etc. And there are also some features that we just started to try, but we see a lot of exciting possibilities there. And for example, like the data profiling and validation feature with the data, uh, great expectation integration. So as a platform team at Grab, we actually provide toolings to cover every dimension of uh, data quality 
from data refreshness to completeness to correctness. Mm -hmm. And this particular feature actually helped us to enhance our existing observability for data quality as a whole for the data lake. So it's really helpful. Wow. Speaking from an engineering perspective, I also really like how Data Hub managed to break things down into standard and simple abstractions. Mm. For example, like a metadata ingestion framework. Now, it's actually very easy to develop a new plugin just to support a new data source. And last night when I checked, there are now actually over 40 plugins that are supported out of the box by Data Hub. Yes, it's there are. It's amazing. And I believe the majority of them are actually contributed by the community. Yes. So, yes. So, and the action framework is also one example of such. It, it abstract away all the complexities and allow developers to just develop new action plugins to support a myriad of new use cases. For example, to enable Slack notifications if uh, the technical schema of some key data set has changed. So all a lot of uh, use cases are also unlocked thanks to the actions framework. So yeah, it's, now you know that when you have a very good product, it's very hard to just pick one or two favorite features, but you like all, all of them. It makes me so happy. <laughs> I like can't stop smiling. I know. <laughs> this is so great. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, okay, one last question for you, Harvey. Um, so I know that the you know the Slack community has been uh, you know just a, a great resource for you, but I'm curious if you were to uh, you know meet someone who had uh, maybe just joined the Data Hub community or is interested in just even like you know learning more about the implementation of it or um, deployment of it. What advice would you What advice would you give them? I think metadata management is an evergreen problem. But if you see it as a big problem, you'll never get started. Yeah. So, so and now fortunately, with open source solutions like Data Hub, we all no longer need to start from zero to manage metadata. So my advice is just to try to identify the key use cases in your organization first mm -hmm. and start small and try it out. And the Data Hub documentation has been already great, but please join the Data Hub Slack workspace. There's loads of or tons of useful resources there. And don't be afraid if there are anything and, and, and get stuck, the community has your back. So yeah, just try it and go for it. I love it. Amazing advice. Amazing advice. Elizabeth, any other questions? No, I don't have any. This was yeah. such a joyful conversation. I know. <laughs> my, at one point, my eyes started watering a little bit. I'm like, is it, is it allergies or am I just overcome <laughs> with emotion? <laughs> I think it's allergies, if I'm being honest. But, <laughs> but that's, you know, but that's, it, it can serve all purposes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, folks have really done a great job from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much. Well, Harvey, this has just been a total joy to chat with you today. Thank you so much for taking the time. Um, we really appreciate you and we'll see you on the internet. Thank you for having me. And thank Absolutely. you for joining this community forward. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>